Hi everyone, in this video I will show how to hide folders or files in SharePoint Online. I have my HR SharePoint site and it's a communication site. This site has four types of groups. I have external, I have HR members, HR owners and HR visitors. What I want to do is to make some of my folders visible to a specific group. For example, I want to hide staff documents from HR visitors and HR external groups. And I want to hide current project from HR members. You can do it in two ways. They're very similar and you can get the same result. And it's up to you which way you want to do it, but I will show you both. So first, I'm going to hide staff documents from my HR visitors and HR external group. Hover over the folder and click on the three dots then click on manage access. Here under manage access, you can see who has access to this folder. As you can see, I have HR owners, HR visitors, members, and external. And this means that they can only view, they cannot do anything. They can only view the folder and anything inside a folder. So what I can do, I can just click on this drop down and click on stop sharing. The moment I click stop sharing, this folder become invisible from HR external and and anyone who is part of HR external group. So I'm going to click stop sharing. I'm going to click remove for visitors. I'm going to click stop sharing. So this folder now become only available for HR owners and HR members. Now, as I mentioned, there are two ways that you can do this. For the current project, I'm going to do the other way. So click on the three dots and click on manage access. Click on advanced. On this page, you can see that this folder is inheriting the permission from the site. What you can do, you can click on stop inheritance and you're going to click OK on this. Now you're managing this folder with different permission levels. So you can have different permission level on this specific folder. And what I was going to do, I was going to remove my members from this folder. So now I have, I can do it. So I'm going to click on HR members and I can click remove user permission. And I'll click OK. So now only HR external, HR owners and HR visitors can see this folder. And if I go back to my permissions page, you can see I have under HR members, I have this user, John Doe, and he's part of HR members. So now he shouldn't be able to see the project folder. Here I logged in as John Doe here. And if I refresh the page, you can see the current project could disappear. He doesn't even know this folder is there uh, or anyone who I'm going to add in the future, they won't be able to see this folder. So this folder is gone for my HR members. Now, let's say management decided to share the current project folder with HR members and you want to bring them back. There are two ways that you can do it. Here, you can, you can click on the three dots and click on manage access. Then click on advanced. Here, it shows what group of people have access to current project folder. You can see external owners and visitors. If you want to bring the HR members group, you need to click on grant permissions. Here you can type HR members group and you can select them. Then click on show options. I usually disable this option. I don't want to send an email invitation. So I'm going to just uncheck that. Here you can select a permission level. Maybe they had read only permission now management decide to give them edit permission so it's totally up to you at this point i can just select read only again and i can click share and if i go back to my user who is part of hr members and if i refresh the page he can now see current project folders as i mentioned there are two ways that you can do it now i will show you the other way so click on the gear and then select site permissions and then click on advanced permissions permission settings anytime you break inheritance from a folder or file you will see this notification anytime you log in to this site to site permissions this means 
there are certain folders or files that you broke the inheritance from the site. You can click on show these items and this will tell you there, there are folders in documents that you, that you broke the inheritance. You're going to click on view. Here you see the list of folders. Imagine you want to bring visitors, but not external to staff documents. You're going to click on manage permissions. Here I have HR members and owners, and it's the same menu. I'm going to click on grant permissions. I'm going to remove send an email invitation and I'm going to look for HR visitors. For select a permission level, I'm going to give them restrict view and I'm going to share with them. Now, whoever is part of HR visitors can see the staff documents folder. So I showed you how you can do it on folders. It's the same thing with files. So imagine you have a folder and you have a bunch of files in a folder and you want to hide some of the files from specific group of uh, people. So select the file and click on the three dots, and then click on manage access. Here you can see HR members, visitors, and owners have access to this file. What I can do, I can just go here and click on stop sharing. And on this one, I can check and I want to see who has access. So this file, if I click on manage access, I can see members can see this file. So if I go back to my SharePoint site, I can see this user can only see this file and he cannot see the PDF that it was in this staff document. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any question. See you all next time.